fall on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell you leave? Before we get into this, yay! I need y'all liking these videos. I need y'all subscribing to this channel. You dig what I'm saying? To the people that support me, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for showing love and helping this algorithm, man. I need help on this algorithm so we can get right back to where we need to be. You dig what I'm saying? And to the people who want me to react to something different, I mean, just holler at a nigga. Let me know, because you already know the vibe over here, baby. Let's go. Yeah, sir. So in the meantime, in between time, we are here. And we are here for a reason. So I was watching Messy Monday with the gang. You know what I'm saying? With the motherfucking league, whatever. And, um, Zo, he said that De'Ara had took Ken from somebody. Now, Ken said that he wasn't necessarily in a relationship with Shawty. He was just talking to Shawty. Which means that he was not taken. Okay? But, Zoe made it a thing to put it in his video. So, I'm making it a thing to put it in mine. Now, what I want to do is react to this part and see if De'Ara took Ken away from his other girlfriend which is cap because we already know that ken at the time was being a thought he already said that he had several women at the time but lied tried to say it was one dear knew all the women he was talking to y'all this is six years ago i'm sure i've already reacted to this video but i'm gonna react to this part so i can see what's going on like it so around the time where i was talking to another girl and uh this is when we posted that picture on Instagram. So you posted the picture on Instagram. I didn't know okay. you had hoes. I didn't have hoes, like I said, one girl. But cap. you know, I put can stop the cap. <laughs> stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Nigga Ben had hoes the whole time. Not right, <laughs> <laughs> not you. But yeah, you know, I posted this picture on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then flares ran heavy. Emotions ran heavy. Her emotions. Her emotions ran very heavy. And, uh, whatever. Here's my thing, right? <clears throat> if you're not taken, then you're not taken. So if he was in a relationship and he was technically cheating, then therefore he was taken. But guess what? If you are taken from anyone, you never belong to them. Am I wrong? First of all, none of us belong to anyone, all right? Now, people are going to get mad at me that y'all feel like I'm taking up for De'Ara and, and the fact that I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's acceptable for her behavior, right? Because y'all think that De'Ara done took Stub Poppy away from Shorty when the whole time, once again, unknowingly, we don't know. What the hell going on between them? Because they ain't never said that. I just want to put that out there again. So all of this is alleged. But in the event of her taking Stud Poppy away from Shorty, how does she belong to her? It's no way you could belong to somewhere that you got taken from. You, you get what I'm saying? If you belong there, you would stay there. Nobody can convince you otherwise. Am I wrong or am I right? See, the thing is, they was probably on some bad times. If in the event they are dating or not. <clears throat> now, although Stub Poppy looked like she was beating uh, uh, De'Ara Cheeks like they were some mangoes, bangos, bongos, whatever you call them things. You know what I'm saying? That still don't necessarily tell us if she beating them cheeks. I just wanted to put that out there. She got cut off, basically, when I made the air. So, she, like, he texted me, he was like, um, what did you say? He was like, I, I um, made a girl mad or something. Yeah, because she got mad. <laughs> she, she, uh, she sent me something, and then her friend called me. 
And then it was like, yeah, really can. You know, I'm a guy, so every guy gonna play dumb. I'm like, yeah, what you talking about? My Hell no, nah, can you just be lying? You gotta stop lying, boy. I, I knew what I did. I just didn't care. It was like, you know, I kind of feel an attraction towards this, you know, towards the air. But I, you know, I think I'm just gonna rock with the air. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't nothing major. Like I, it's want, because I had like 14k followers. That's that too, and no, I was playing. But mind you, me and another girl weren't together. We weren't even close to being at that level. So I mean, it was like something casual. So like I said, you just left her for me. I didn't care. It was like I met the. The title should be the time the air took somebody man. Diera, that's what I'ma title this video. <laughs> Diera, yay. That's what I'm going to title this video. The time Diera took somebody man. Allegedly. <laughs> Y'all make sure somebody screen record that for me and send it to me. Zen, if you in here, please send that to me so I can just let it be known. Matter of fact, what's the timestamp? 606. I got it. <laughs> I just mad. You mind now forever and ever but, um, ever. Like I said, after that day, you know, kicking. Most started getting a little heavier between us. You know, we started getting a little bit more connected. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually, I did get the number. We started eventually, to, we started to hang out more and more, 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 and more. To the point where, mind you, when I first met her, I couldn't go in her house. I didn't even know where her house was. No, like he just came into my neighborhood and we just went to the pool. It was, that was it. I didn't like, know where she I lived. Didn't. She just came walking down some magically. <laughs> he was magically. like, "I'm here," and I just came out the house. I'm like, oh, "I'm came out the house." I'm like, "All right, meet you. I'll meet you at the pool." Like, uh, you stay at the pool. She was nowhere for some to reason house. very paranoid. I had no idea. I'm like, paranoid. Probably, I just probably had no god. The thing about it is, no. The thing about it is, he came to my house like my mom was at work, and I didn't have no boy in my house. My mom at work because I know my mom like to pop up. And do pop ups. <laughs> and so I was not having it. Nobody and got time for that. I, I graduated that year, but my mom is still, she's still overprotective. She still didn't play that shit. So I was like, I'll meet you at the pool. Right. <laughs> and then you eventually met my mom. No, no, no. Yeah. The day yeah. I met your mother, I think we got in trouble because I was in your house. Really? Remember that day she came? Was, was that the first time I met her? No, that wasn't the first that time. Was, well, the, anyway. I remember one time he, my mom came in the house. I was in the shower. And he, All right, y'all. We. Oh, shit. This ain't about Ken in the air, okay? But I just wanted to put that out there. You know what I'm saying? In the wind. You can't necessarily take somebody that can't be taken. Do you get what I'm saying? You can't. It's, it's no such thing. So, at the end of the day, you know, I don't know what's going on with the alleged stud poppy in, in, in the air. If anything's going on, I don't know. But all I know is, you can't take somebody that can't be taken. You know? And if y'all think that I'm insensitive for that, that's fine. Maybe I am. But you can't take nobody that can't be taken. Y'all have a blessed evening. This was just a quick little video. Hell yeah.